Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. M. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bagger, babe. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. Y'all know what time it is. A doctor's in the house. Those of you new to the channel, you know, new to the stream. Yes, we are really a doctor. It's going to be convenient because I've been research scientist and a lot of people are talking about right now. You know, there's a lot of controversy, a lot of hoopla about hoopla. You see what I did there? Hoopla. We talk about hooping. <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of stuff going on about the U.S. Olympic basketball teams for the women's side, particularly for the 2024 Olympics, right? Because a lot of people will say, oh, we're a CC. We're a CC. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? Clark, by the way. You know what I'm talking about. I know you heard of her. But I want to just put a lot of it to rest. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to holler about controversy and conspiracy, you know, when they don't understand something. Instead of putting in their work, doing their due diligence and being meticulous about it, you know, before they open their mouth with an opinion, most likely an uneducated one, they just like to say, no, it's a conspiracy. Oh, oh, this is wrong. This is a controversy. Shut up, bitch. Bro, just look into it, but that's okay. You don't have to. Me being a research scientist is what I like to do. So this is what I'm gonna do for y'all today. Now we go break down the Olympic roster. But first of all, you know what I'm saying? I wanna talk about this because what people ask me, why am I interested in women basketball, women athletics? Because, you know, I, I'm just always, I've always liked sports. And back in high school, you know, um, my girlfriend at the time, she played, she was a high school hooper, you know what I'm saying? So I used to go to all her games and, uh, hold on, I gotta take a second. I gotta pour out some for the, for the homies, man. I mean, I mean, well, I mean, she, she, she's not dead or anything, you know, we just ain't together, so she dead to me, you know what I'm talking about? But anyway, let's get right to it, man, so I'm gonna show y'all, that's why I'm interested in women's sports, I'll be watching, you know, I watch a lot of, a lot of, a lot of sports in general, but I, I would say I watch more, I consume more women athletics, especially WNBA, than the average bear, you know what I'm saying? So let's get right to it, man, we're gonna talk about the, the women athletics, uh, Olympic athletic team, and why does it have Caitlin Clark? But first of all, big salute to Caitlin Clark. I'm going to tell y'all right now, this is nothing against Caitlin Clark. It's just putting out facts. So if anybody go hops in the comments section saying that I'm hating on Caitlin Clark, you're just going to be ignored because it's shot to Caitlin Clark, what she's doing, shot to the other rookies, Cameron Brink, they, she balling, uh, Rakia Jackson balling, uh, um, um, Angel Reese is balling, Camilla Cardoso, she was hurt, but you know, they balling, so they shot to all the rookies, all to, shout out to all the players, but we're going to get down to this controversy, you know, we're going to uncover the truth, and look who we have right here, the first person, Asia Wilson, coincidentally, is on my screen, let's look at her numbers, so she has 28 points, 12 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.9, uh, steals, I don't even have to get into her numbers, you know what it is, Asia Wilson, she doing her thing, front runner for MVP, uh, Los Angeles Aces. Let's get right to it. We know Kayla Clark's not replacing her, right? That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. So we got all 12. Oh, look who I have next. I, I, have, I, have, uh, I have Brianna Stewart. Oh my goodness, Stewie, the former MVP. I don't have to go through her numbers. Y'all know what it is. Kayla Clark's not replacing her. They're not even the same size. You know, they're not even comparable size. So let's keep going down the list. She's on the Olympic team, by the way. Do you, do you have a problem with her? Well, let's talk about uh, Nafisa Collier. Nafisha Collier, you know what I'm saying? I always mispronounce her name. I'm sorry, you know I, I I gotta say it twice. But look at her numbers: 21, 11, double double. We she is Kayla Clark replacing her? No. No. So who do you have a problem with so far? Nobody. Okay, that's three. They're 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 in they're in the front court, right? So let's keep going. We got Diana Taurasi, 41 year old. Damn. I'm sorry. She don't need no introduction, man. She's a beast. You know what it is. You know what she brings to the table. Leadership. All that veteran longevity. The 41-year-old, you know, coincidentally, she's 41 years old, still out there balling. And the same night that Aaliyah Boston, the Caitlin Clark, and the Indiana Fever lost by 30, Dana Tarazi dropped 30. Literally over 30. I think she dropped like 31 or 32 or something like that. She went crazy, so she's still balling. Do I, do I need to explain her presence? Nope. Let's keep going. So we got Alyssa Thomas. Come on now. 13, 13 and 9 and 8 assists. Come on now, she's almost averaging a triple double. She she like Westbrook on the court. What? You're not replacing her, so let's get right. Brittany, Brittany grinding now. Brittany grinding. She just made a return, but you already know what she brings, man. She dunking on people. Let's give me some what? She's dunking on people. Can I get say what? She's dunking on people. <gasps> what else do I need to say? So you know, you know she gonna represent the U.S. well. Yeah. And she's been there before, so come on, let's let's get right. She's been on the national level before, and you know she's just coming back, but she she's gonna get back to form. So it's not really a, fi a, a fair comparison with her. But uh, once again, she's a big, so let's get right, man. She's in that front court. We got Jewel Lloyd, 19 points, six rebounds, three assists, 1.5 steals. Come on, now you can't replace her. I don't need to say anything about it. She's a guard for Seattle Storm, one time for King County. You know what I'm talking about? Stand up. Let's get right. You know what I'm saying? A good replacement for Sue Bird, who's another great. But you can't you can't argue with anybody. Who is Caitlin Clark replacing? Jackie Young for the Las Vegas Aces. Come on now, 18 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, 1.1 steals. All her numbers are good, baby. What do you what do you want, man? 
What, what, what are we talking about right now? Then we got Kalia Cooper. You know what I'm saying? I always call her Kalia Cooper. I'm sorry. Kalia Copper. I apologize. Kalia Copper, 23 points, four rebounds, two assists. I, bro, who, tell me one person. One person that you replaced with Caitlin Clark. Tell me. Who are you Who are you really? So when, when you ask these people who are upset, what are you really upset about? Yo, let's keep it. We're going to keep it going. Okay, now this is where it starts to get a little interesting. We got Sabrina Ionescu. You know, she is a sniper. She's already proven. You know, on, on the biggest stage, her and Steph Curry, she was out there dropping threes. But her numbers are comparable with Caitlin Clark's. So, you know, she's 17 points, 4 rebounds, 5.3 assists. You know, Caitlin Clark has 16 points, uh, 5.3 uh, rebounds, 6.3 assists. So, this is where it gets a little interesting. But we know Sabrina, there's nobody that's a, that's a better shooter than her. So it is what it is. She compliments the team. So I don't think you're replacing Caitlin Clark with her. Then we have Chelsea Gray. You know, her numbers are once again compliment, uh, comparable with uh, Caitlin Clark. But you know what she brings? She brings grit, grind, hustle, veteran leadership at the highest level, and championship mentality. So you're not replacing Chelsea Gray with Caitlin Clark. Then we got Kelsey Plum. You know, her numbers are also also uh, comparable to uh, to uh, Caitlin Clark. But she also brings leadership. She also brings hustle. She also brings that that veteran and, and, and that charisma to, to the team, that veteran leadership and charisma so you're not gonna replace her with Kayla Clark so these are people that are vets that that people are who are you who are you taking off replacing with Kayla Clark before you complain please look at it from an objective standpoint an analytical standpoint and tell me don't just be outraged oh Kayla Clark's not on the team yes she's a very she's a very capable athlete and I think her time will come but right now who, who what what woman on this 12 woman roster are you removing for Kayla Clark that you can make a serious legitimate argument for I'll wait. That's enough. I ain't gonna wait the whole time. Go be doing another video. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, so my, my biggest issue is that, um, you know, Caitlin Clark is playing well. 60.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, 6.3 assists, 1.5 steals. She's the number one pick. She's playing She's playing great. I think these narratives are really hurting her because I think she's going to overcome and she's going to continue to battle and be a beast. But we got to let her, let her let her pay her way. She's capable. But with all this coddling and stuff, it's not going to make her any better, you know? She's a beast. She's on track to, 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 be, to uh, perform very well. Her and Angel Reese. And just let, let them develop and let them be the stars that they that we believe they're capable of being and if she's really like that then she will continue to show that and demonstrate that on the court we don't need uh uh, uh people's narratives to uh to to diminish her showcasing her skills and her accomplishments man but i will say this though the only person that i was um i was shocked about not being on the uh, olympic team is this right here dewana bonner I, I don't know there might be a reason why she's not on the team i didn't look into it myself but i was just thinking like you know the connecticut sun they're undefeated dewana bonner's balling 19 points five rebounds Two assists, one point four steals on average. I, I was uh, her missing from the team is more is more um you know I, it sparked my curiosity more and it is more mind boggling to me that she's not on the team than Caitlin Clark. But I'm sure there's a reason for that as well. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the WNBA players. One time for the U.S. Olympic national team, we gonna go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love the team. I think the team is great. Can Caitlin Clark be on it? Yeah, you can make an argument maybe with three three players, but even though I still think that they belong on it more than her, in my opinion. But that's just me, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about that. Let me know in the comments. Follow me in the comments, man. If you're upset with what I said, that's follow me. I'm, I'm tough, baby. I can take it. Y'all, don't forget to like the video. We out. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. Love y'all. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.